Character on Track presents Champions on Track, connecting local champions of character to the classroom. Courage. Today's topic is courage. It takes courage to have character. Today's program is being sponsored by Now, let's meet some of our champions. Hello everybody, I'm Kenna Brown from Chester Area School. And some activities that I'm in are volleyball, basketball, golf, FFA, Chester Honor Society, and softball. Some of my interests include hanging out with my family and going camping. And my favorite subject in school has always been math. One of my favorite memories from elementary is when we went to the colony in fifth grade for our field trip. We got to eat lunch with them and then they showed us around the entire place. And then we got to play kickball with them after we uh, ate lunch with them and then we played baseball as well. It was a very fun time and that has forever been one of my favorite memories from elementary. Hey, my name is Nathan Gary. I am in basketball, track, cross country, FFA, and Chester Honor Society. My favorite subject in school is government or history classes. Uh, some interests of mine are playing sports, working out, and music. And my favorite memories from elementary school are being on the playground with my friends playing sports. Hello, my name is Avery Scott and I'm a senior here at Chester. Um, some of my activities that I'm involved in are drama club, one act, band, choir, FFA, honor society, golf, and yearbook. Um, some of my favorite memories from elementary school are just hanging out with my friends and going on field trips like to the circus. Character on track. What is courage? Courage is doing the right thing, even if it's difficult. It's facing your fears with confidence, being brave. What does courage look like? It's doing the right thing, even if others are not. Bravely dealing with daily challenges. Courage is being willing to try new things, even if you might fail. Courage is telling the truth, even if there are consequences. It's facing fears and working to overcome them, admitting your mistakes and learning from them, and courage is not giving in to negative peer pressure. Who has courage? Certainly teachers and school officials, firefighters, law enforcement, Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King, people in the military, and even kids with character. Where do I find courage? Believe it or not, it's inside you right now. Being brave is in there. But courage may not always feel like courage. From the outside, it may look powerful and thrilling. Sometimes, from the inside, it can be scary and unpredictable. Courage and fear are always together. If you don't have fear, you don't need courage. Courage is something inside us that makes us push through fear and doubt. It helps us to do the things that seem a little risky. Sometimes it only lasts for a few seconds, but it's long enough to be brave. Something else to know about courage. It takes courage to have character. Sometimes you don't see the results right away. Making a difference may take a little time, but if you had courage to do it, you will see a result. Our champions of character show character and courage every day. So let's hear from them right now. We just watched a video and one of the questions is that it asks is, what is courage? And to me, courage is being brave and sticking up for what is right. Taking the risk and going out of your comfort zone to complete something that you would never have completed if you wouldn't have had the courage to do it. It can be very nerve-wracking and it can take a lot of current confidence to get out of your comfort zone, but it is one of the most important things and then you get so many more new experiences. And to me, that is what courage is. So we just watched another video and it says, what does courage look like? To me, courage looks like people that are open-minded, willing to try different things out even if they don't know how it's going to turn out. Or telling the truth if we did something wrong. 
facing those consequences, telling your teachers or parents what happened, it's tough, but you gotta do it. And that's what courage looks like to me. So another question I was asked is, where do I find courage? Courage is inside of all of us right now. Whenever we have to face a fear or do something that we've never done before, there's courage inside of us doing that. If we never feared anything, then we wouldn't ever have to have courage. But everything that we fear, we have courage for. So we have to all have courage inside of us. Another question I'd ask is, why do you need courage? Courage been, can build a lot of confidence amongst yourself. Like trying out for a new play, or going on an adventure like going hiking, or even trying a new food that maybe your friends like, but you don't like, or you don't know that you like it, and trying it can take a lot of courage. You never know what the outcome is going to be, and building the courage to try to do something new can take a lot. And to me, that is why you need courage. So, how do you know if you have courage? Well, one reason I know I have courage is because I'm willing to be a worker. I'm willing to go out of my way and try different things, work on it so I can get better at different things that I want to do, trying the things, or questioning people that aren't quite doing the right thing because of that courage and being a worker, you want to work at doing the right thing. So who needs courage? Everyone needs courage. When I think of people who have courage, I think of my teachers, my parents, firefighters, police officers, and anyone that has something to face their fears. We all have courage inside of us. We just have to be there and have our courage. Character on Track At Character on Track, we believe every student and adult has the ability to have and show good character. We have five marks of character we focus on. Trustworthiness, respect, accountability, citizenship, and kindness. These are parts of your character, but do you know what it takes to have good character? It takes courage to have character. We all want a school where we feel safe, where we can ask questions and talk about our feelings. We all want a school where you get to be you. To do that, you have to stand up for what is right, be open to new ideas, and be ready to listen to others' point of view even if you might not agree. Do you know what it takes to make your school be like this? It takes kids with good character and kids who are brave to do the right thing. It takes courage to have character. Inside each one of us is a leader. Maybe you're not the leader right now, but your time will come soon. Being a leader takes character and it takes courage. Our character will help us decide what's right and what's wrong, and that helps us make good decisions. Do you have good character? Are you trustworthy? Do you show respect all the time? Are you accountable because people can count on you? Are you a good citizen who wants to work toward making your school and your community a better place? And are you kind to other people? If you are, then you are a kid of character. And that's a great thing, but that's not all. Do you have the courage to have good character? Let's go back to our champions of character for more on courage, character, and leadership. Welcome back from watching another video. One of the main things it talks about is trustworthy. And to me, trustworthy is a big, big word. To me, trustworthy is something that can build a lot of relationships with a lot of amazing people. Trustworthy can help you so much in the future and in your life right now. If you are trustworthy, then that one person is going to tell you a lot more than what they would tell somebody else. And that, is, to me, is what trustworthy means. So, why do we need to be respectful? If you're respectful, people are also going to respect you, which is a nice feeling to have. And to show respect to me means you're willing to listen to other people, even if you don't agree with them or think they aren't right. But if you show respect, that's going to show that you are also responsible. And that's why you need to have that quality. We also all need to be accountable. To be accountable means to be there when people need you. And to be accountable, you also have to be responsible. Getting your homework done on time, doing what you're asked, 
and showing up to places on time are all ways to be responsible. You also need to do your best at everything you can. At school, making sure you do your homework and projects as best as you can, and when you do sports, playing the sports to the best of your ability. You also need to think before you act. Make sure you always do, are on your best behavior and always do what's right, even when no one's watching. This is how you can be an accountable person. Another amazing quality to have is being a good citizen. To me, being a good citizen is helping out with others, working hard in your, in your community, telling the truth, and being accountable and being respectful. Being a good citizen means you'll go out and pick up trash when nobody else asks you to around your community. Or just helping out with others, like if somebody has a question in class or on homework, then you're going to be able to help them or talk them through how they can complete the problem in the right way. Being a good citizen means a lot of different things, and all those things are very important. Being a good citizen takes a lot of courage, and it is something that you can do on the daily. Another one of the five marks is kindness. And kindness is something that I know your teachers in the elementary talk about all the time. I remember those lectures. But how do you show that you're kind? While holding the door for someone when they walk into the school, including people in it during your recess games, whether that's a sport or just a fun activity, being forgiving of other people, willing to let that stuff go, even if it hurts a little bit, and showing your manners, saying please and thank you to people that help you out. So it takes courage to have character. And in order to do this, you have to be trustworthy. Always tell the truth and don't lie. You have to be respectful. Treat others how you want to be treated. You have to be accountable. Be responsible and make sure your work is always done on time. You also have to be a good citizen. Help others around your community by doing anything like picking up trash, and you also have to be kind. Treat others how you want to be treated. Hold the door open for someone or help someone up when they fall. These are all the things that you need for courage to have character. Character on track. It takes courage to have character. Today we talked about character and courage. We found out what courage is and we also found out what it takes to have good character. Now what can you do? Well, first of all, look for opportunities to use your character every day. Maybe you remember a time in your past when you didn't stand up for what was right. Hey, we all make mistakes, but your courage gives you the power to do the right thing right now. How about your circle of friends? Do these people have the kind of character you'd like to see in yourself? Or maybe you've got some role models, like the champions of character from your school, and you can admire and learn from what they do. Put your character into action. Good character is built on what you do. It takes courage to have character. And the more you use your courage and your character, the stronger it will become. Now it's up to you. Do you have what it takes? Let's hear from our champions one more time. One thing I want you to take away from this video is go and try and take that new risk. Even if you don't know the outcome, it can benefit you so much. Go and try the new food. Go and try the new ride at the fair or even Valley Fair. Also, if you admit to your mistakes, not only are people going to respect you more, but they're also going to look up to you and you're going to be the role model that everybody else wants you to be. Not only are they going to trust you more, you're going to trust yourself more. And those are things that I want you to take away from this video. So we talked about a lot of things today, like the five marks, but you guys see them all the time on this poster right here, with the kindness, be respectful. Those are two of the five marks that we emphasize here all the time. And one thing I really want to leave on you guys is be kind to one another. Don't be hurtful, don't be mean. It's better to be kind, because then people will remember you a little more in a good light. So I know we went through a lot of information today, but here's a few things I want to leave you with. First, don't be afraid to try new things. We all have courage inside of us, but just don't be afraid to tap into it. Second, be accountable. Always be there when people need you, and don't be afraid to do your best. Thank you for watching our video. And to be a Flyer 5, you have to expect excellence. You have to be a worker and be kind. You have to be respectful and be enthusiastic. And remember, 
It takes courage to have character. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our champions of character who helped us with this project. Also, our champions and all of us at Character on Track would like you to remember your character not only tells us who you are, but who you are going to become.